to women who are waiting for, you know, someday my prince will come and so will I. You know, that, that old adage. Yeah, right. If you wait for somebody else to give you an orgasm, you're not going to get it. Uh, it's rare. I mean, you might find somebody who knows exactly. All of a sudden he hits on the spot and you're, that's it. But more often, you're not going to be as happy as you could be if you shared and... If a guy doesn't like you sharing, then I suggest you get away from him. It's good to be with people you like. You can communicate with. You're on sort of a similar page. And taking it slow. People rush into intercourse way too fast. It's about learning about the person, taking your time, snuggling. I mean, I tell clients, do you see yourself maybe just lying naked and talking and doing the sensual touch that we've done, learning about your partner's whole body, having her do that with you? putting their finger in, finding my G-spot, explaining that the G-spot is not necessarily going to be the same kind of intensity when you touch it for all women. Because the last thing I need a man to do is be rubbing and wanting me to be multi-orgasmic. And not all women are multi-orgasmic. One orgasm is great. So don't put demands on, on each other. You know, why doesn't why don't you like this? My last girlfriend liked it. That's the last thing you want to hear. Or a woman saying to a man, I don't know why you're not hot already. I mean, I've never had anybody take this long. Mm -hmm. Oof. You know, uh, maybe that works. That doesn't hurt a man or have him get into a tailspin. But it can. Be thoughtful. Hygiene. You know, I've had people sit on my bed. Not many, but some have sit on my bed and le left a shit streak. Oh, yeah. You know? I don't know, but one person in particular was quite heavy, but I've had men who weren't very fat, or I hate that word fat, but large, let's say, leave a shit streak, and I've had to say, you know, listen, I want, I'm here to tell you what other women aren't going to like and like. I mean, I can't tell you what all women like, but many women will not be happy if you get up off their bed and you leave this. So we talk about hygiene, we talk about breath, we talk about cutting your nails and making sure you don't have a long nails or hang nails because if you're going to put your fingers in a woman's, on her vulva or in her vagina, that area is precious. So you could cut a woman or scratch her and create a host area for bacteria, you know, unintentionally, but you know, things like that happen.